Did you know that waking up early is one of the hardest habits to cultivate? And that seems a completely impossible task during the days of single digit temperatures. For me, waking up has always been hard to do, particularly when facing the cold reality of a dark winter's morning. Each night, we all tend to promise ourselves that by all means we're going to wake up early the next morning, at least I used to do that, and then set the alarm. But when the alarm does go off the next morning, most of us roll over and hit the snooze button, feeling irritated by it in order to get just some more sleep and completely ignore the waking up process. I'm going to show you now how you can beat that in four easy steps because I did that too. Now let's be honest here for a second. You're not going to be able to convince yourself to wake up early in the morning just because you've watched my video. You must find a reason first as to what is it that you're planning to do when you wake up early. Some of the reasons you can start with are exercise. You can go for jogging, sign up for a gym, or why not even do some yoga at home. Another thing you can do is perhaps write a journal. And in the journal you can record your day planning, prioritize your tasks, or simply write down your thoughts or feelings. And if you don't really want to do any of that, then you can start by just reading a newspaper or you can also watch some news on television. So step number one, find a reason. Even if you've got a strong enough reason to wake up, it is still quite impossible for us to wake up early because it is too damn cold out there making the whole wake-up process beyond our control. I'm going to share with you a really important point now. More than anything else, we struggle to get out of bed simply because of this. What is it? It is our habit of wearing boxer shorts, half sleeve or sleeveless t-shirts to bed. And when we do that, our body shows resistance to leave that warm and comfy bed in the morning due to the body's exposure to the sensation of cold. So we simply need to put a stop on that. Whilst on the other hand, if we wore a warm sweatshirt and pajamas with a pair of socks, trust me, you're gonna find it much easier to jump out of bed the next morning. It really works and it is very effective. So the step number two is sleep with warm clothes. Now there is the obvious tip of setting the alarm clock across the room. It really works for me. When you've got your alarm clock within the reach of your bed, you're very much likely to hit the snooze button. Whilst if the alarm clock is away from your reach on the table, then you're going to need to walk up to it in order to turn it off. Now that you're out of your bed, and the alarm clock is also off and you have a really good enough reason to stay up therefore you're gonna say to yourself that no going back in now step number three put the alarm clock far from your bed if you're normally sleeping till 9 30 then going cold turkey and aiming for six o'clock just isn't gonna happen well, it could happen once, but then you spend the entire day yawning, drinking coffee, and probably regretting your life's decisions. For the next day, set it for 9 o'clock, and then 8.45, and then 8.30, and so on, even when you hit that glorious weekend. And then you can work your way up. So step number four is be realistic and make a transition. 